Big Brother, at its core, is an individual game. For the most part, players' strategies revolve around their self-interested nature. There's only going to be one winner at the end of the day, and you don't get any sort of prize for someone other than you winning. But, in very rare instances, an alliance can go beyond the game. Given the right circumstances, motivations, and players, a duo can work so well together that it transcends a single season. Sometimes, an alliance, specifically a duo, can be so well suited with one another that it doesn't matter if one of the members doesn't win because they'll just come back on a later season and win themselves a crown too. Throughout 22 years of Big Brother, there have been two dominant duos that have risen above the rest, Chilltown and the Hitmen. The Chilltown duo consists of Dr. Will Kirby and Mike Boogie Mallon, and the Hitmen consists of Derek Levasseur and Cody Calfiore. Each duo has had each member win a season at Big Brother, as well as at least one other high-placing performance, and it's definitely a toss-up on which is the true greatest duo of all time. So this starts a two-part series where we're going to go over each duo and really find out which pair is the greatest of all time. Today, we're starting out with Chilltown. We gotta, we gotta shore some stuff up. Shore some stuff up? Fast. We do our own thing and ease in. They don't even know what's gonna hit them. It all began in Big Brother 2. For those that don't know, Chilltown is technically not a duo, as it started out as a three-person alliance. After Mike Boogie won the first head of household, himself, Dr. Will, and houseguest Shannon Dragoo formed the trio alliance in which they called themselves Chilltown. They described Chilltown as the cool kids, people you would want to hang out with as opposed to buying an insurance policy from. And, well... They weren't really hiding their alliance. Chilltown's standoffishness and perceived immaturity led to the others in the house banding together and forming their own alliance in direct opposition of Chilltown. The house flipped the vote in week one and Chilltown's target Nicole ended up surviving eviction, much to the surprise and dismay of Boogie. My only goal is to get those three the, the hell out of here. Me too. Are you we kidding? thought we were running the game. We weren't running anything. No, well, that's because we, we lost Justin and Sherry in one day. You know what? Anyone that tries to hold their head above yours, man, I will do what I can to knock that shit, to knock them right down. After house guest Krista won the week two HOH, she asked each house guest individually who they thought should be nominated, and the vast majority of the house said that they wanted Will and Shannon on the block, as they had started a bit of a romantic relationship and were both in Chilltown. Luckily, Krista didn't see Will as a threat inside the house and instead chose to target and evict Autumn, who was complaining about life inside the house. This one week of safety was not enough to put Chilltown out of the line of fire, though, as house guest Hardy won the week 3 HOH and vowed to get a member of Chilltown out of the house. He nominated the couple of Shannon and Will, and while Will was technically in danger here, Shannon brushed the toilet with Hardy's toothbrush and then later asked to be evicted over Will, so Will just had to sit and look pretty as the house unanimously evicted Shannon. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. I think I'm gonna go clean the toilet. Shannon took Hardy's toothbrush and scrubbed the toilet. You're, I'm, sure, I'm sure your friends and family are really proud of your actions. And from here on out, Chilltown would just be the duo of Will and Boogie. But for those that are familiar with Chilltown's story, you know that there isn't much more to their story as a duo in Big Brother 2. Will was able to make a deal with the Week 4 HOH to keep him safe, as Will had been tactically throwing every competition and successfully convinced the rest of the house that he was not a threat, but Boogie was not as lucky. Boogie was nominated for eviction and was widely agreed upon by the house to be the target, and at the end of the week, Mike Boogie was evicted from the Big Brother 2 house, basically decimating the Chilltown Alliance and leaving Will as the sole remaining member. If I don't nominate you, will you give me amnesty when you become the head of household? I made a deal with the devil. I want to know what you're going to go home and tell your daughter when she says, Daddy, the first week when you won the car and Mike Boogie saved you, why'd you put him in up for nomination three weeks later? Thanks for your friendship, bro. I was all saying, so listen. The loyalty you showed in here, man, I didn't think I was going to find it from anybody, and you were there, and I appreciate it. I'll see you so, soon. How are you staying and I'm leaving? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> how did this happen? <laughs> I want to leave too. Okay. As far as acting as an alliance, Chilltown did not do a great job as a group during Big Brother 2, and Will and Boogie as a duo did almost no damage. They were not discreet whatsoever, they were somewhat obnoxious, at least in the eyes of the other house guests. and in terms of gameplay, they had one week of power, then got lucky to survive the following week before having Shannon and Boogie evicted in back-to-back -back weeks. 
In no means would this be considered a good alliance in terms of performance, but what carries the Chilltown name is Will's solo play for the rest of Big Brother 2. Without any of his allies, Will's threat level diminished tremendously. Will was nominated for eviction the following week, but was very clearly not the target, and he didn't even have a vote cast against him. Continuing to throw comps, Will was not seen as a threat and managed to make deals and survive through the rest of the season, where he was brought to the final two by Nicole, and the jurors respected Will's game and also enjoyed his diary room persona enough to crown him the winner of Big Brother 2. So, that means that Chilltown is successfully one for one in terms of taking home the crown. But to say that this was a Chilltown victory would be a bit of a stretch, because Chilltown was not a successful alliance in Big Brother 2. They lost most of their members as soon as they didn't have power, and although Boogie had shown signs of good strategy, he was still voted out fourth. It's like almost a little refreshing because I know where everybody stands and let's party. Let's dance, you know what I'm saying? So, even though Will ended up winning Big Brother 2, it's no secret that I've been talking a lot of trash about Chilltown as a whole. As an alliance, they were glaringly out in the open, very brash, and they made no attempt to hide themselves, which is a pretty big no-no. Like I said earlier, it was Will's genius solo play that allowed him to succeed, and in fact, Will thrived the most when Chilltown wasn't there in the house with him. So. How is Chilltown considered one of the greatest alliances of all time with their glaring issues? Well, every weakness that I just pointed out about Chilltown and Big Brother 2 ended up being their greatest strengths in Big Brother 7. Oh, dude, I can't join the dark side. You could just be like, no conscience, detached, I'm cold. I look like a human on the outside, but it's just skin over circuitry and wires. <laughs> My plan right now, if I last three weeks, I'm gonna pull the mask off. People aren't gonna like what they see. Looks gonna look like flesh on the outside, you rip it open, and it's just circuitry and wires. Both Will and Boogie returned for Big Brother 7, which was an all-star season. They were without a doubt the biggest targets to start the game off, and they were a very open and public duo, and Will was the only winner in the all-star cast, so the bullseye on their back could not be bigger. But in the words of Will, the target on them was so big that it ended up being practically non-existent. Knowing that there was no way to hide their Chilltown alliance, Mike and Will reveled in their completely out there position and used it to their advantage. Why bother taking a shot at Chilltown when they're an obvious threat and shield for the upcoming weeks? The Season 6 alliance won the first four Rachel Witches of the summer, and Chilltown managed to make some deals to stay safe the first few weeks. Will ended up going on the block in week three, and Boogie ended up going on the block in week four, but they did enough work to make sure that they were never nominated together. If they weren't both on the block, they knew they could both work their way out of any situation, and they were right. Will didn't even have a vote cast against him in week three, and Boogie got basically everyone to throw the veto to him in week four, so even when things looked like they could go a little bit awry, they managed to make things work, and they didn't just survive these weeks, they were in power positions. Chilton had been playing both sides of the house and pinning them against one another. Season six and the floaters were wanting to target one another and Chilton was sitting pretty in the middle, having this quote unquote target looming over their head. But at this point, their target was simply just a title and it didn't mean anything. Mike. Chopping block. Chopping block is correct. It's a wrap! That's what I'm talking about! Mike Boogie's in the building! What? <laughs> They just got ultimately stronger. Mike Boogie just won a competition, which is something none of us ever thought would happen. One day they're going to. Kaser is like nominate Will. James is like nominate Will. Howie is like nominate Will. I'm like nominate Will. And you're him and Han, and you may nominate Diane because you think she may come after you. Mike Boogie and Will are the biggest liars in the history of Big Brother. These men don't want to go home. These men are more invested in this game than anybody else. Chilltown even formed a super fans dream alliance called the Legion of Dune, consisting of themselves, Daniel Reyes from Big Brother 3, and James Ryan from Big Brother 6. Chilltown didn't stop there though, as both Will and Boogie went on to create showmance-esque alliances with two of the women in the house, Erica Landon with Boogie and Janelle Pierzina with Will. If you guys all get to know, oh, you're definitely doing it, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. The entire shower sequence tonight is all strategy. These girls We took no pleasure from it. Through these alliances, Chilltown was primed to be in a good position coming to the jury stage. Will was able to convince Janelle to evict one of her closest allies in week six, and immediately afterwards, Boogie was able to intimidate Chicken George into keeping Will and Boogie off the block during his HOA train. People often give Will most of the credit for Chilltown's success on All-Stars, but Boogie put in a lot of work throughout the season that kept Will safe, and without Boogie, Will would have been vulnerable to be evicted a lot more often than he was.
Will put in a big effort to save you last week, and you're not. Too was that much was that all? Was that all true? That yeah, yeah, it was true. Listen, I will fully take the fall from Marcellus leaving. I influenced Janelle to do it, but it was to save Boogie, and it was to save Chicken George, and that's the truth. There is a power in the house. There is speculation who has it. I'm not confirming or denying who would have the power. Julie said this person will have the power to change the face of this game forever. Is that something that you maybe want to go up against? At the final seven, Boogie won HOH and gave Chilltown their first taste of raw power, as Will was of course throwing every comp all season. Boogie was able to get James evicted, and the following week when his showman's Erica won HOH, he was able to convince her to evict her best friend, Danielle, as opposed to Will. Once more, Boogie's influence was able to allow both Chilltown members to survive and make it to the final five. Once Janelle won the final five HOH, Will was quickly able to convince her to not nominate either himself or Boogie, which Janelle complied with, meaning that they were both able to survive that round as well and make it to the final four. I know I've been talking a lot about how Boogie had been doing work for Chilltown, but it must be stated that Will was playing absolutely out of his mind. Will basically had complete control of how the game was progressing, and he was straight up magical, especially considering the fact that Will had all this control without ever winning a competition. And then on the other side, you got the Chilltown boys. Super Bowl! Erica is under the impression that if we can get to the final three, that I will take her to the finals. That ain't happening. Once it got down to four players left, it looked like it was Will's game to lose. Boogie won HOH and was safe going into the final three. And when Janelle won the veto, it looked like Will was assuredly going to make it to the final three too. Unfortunately, Chilltown had overplayed their hands in trying to get the two women to go against each other, and Erica successfully convinced Janelle that the boys had been playing them, and Janelle chose to save Erica and evict Will in fourth place. It was the first time all season that Chilltown was on the outs of who went home, it was the first time they were in true danger, and it also marked the first time in Mike Boogie's career that he was in the Big Brother house without Will. I just, it totally, I'm totally flabbergasted. <sighs> Clearly the girls uh, struck some sort of deal to get rid of Chilltown. Will and I let down our guards, we got cocky. I'm gonna miss my buddy and I really had a dream of the two of us standing in the finals. I, I just don't know what happened. I've never been in the Big Brother house in two seasons uh, without Will, so it's a very odd feeling. We can dish it out, but we can't take it. Bring. 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 Oh, man. Luckily for Boogie, he went on to win the final HOH and avenge Will by voting out Janelle. And then when sitting in front of the jury, Mike did an absolutely incredible job and was crowned the winner of Big Brother All-Stars by a vote of six to one. This meant that Chilltown was now two for two in winning the seasons that they played on, which was a very impressive stat. While Chilltown struggled as an alliance in Big Brother 2, they absolutely dominated as a pair in Big Brother All-Stars. They came in with a stronger game plan, both Mike and Will were better improved as players, and they delivered mightily once the season began. Mike showed that he was a real game player, and through a handful of comp wins, socially persuading others in the house, and leveraging himself as a power player, Mike Boogie definitely earned his win and was definitely the most improved player coming into All-Stars. Even with his performance and his win, the real star of the show was once more Dr. Will. Dr. Will owned the entire All-Star house and ran circles around the biggest and baddest Big Brother veterans. He simply played on a different level, and through two seasons, he had proven himself to be the greatest Big Brother player yet, and it wasn't even close. How he thought he was safe, you know why he thought that? Well, because I told him he was safe. If anyone tells you they can play the Big Brother game efficiently without lying, they're lying to you. Together, Chilltown had walked into the Big Brother house on two separate occasions, and both times they walked out as winners. Their biggest weaknesses in season two ended up being the very thing that allowed for their magical success in All-Stars. They took the house by storm and dominated like no duo ever had before. And overall, not only did they have two wins under their belts, but they also had a very impressive fourth place spot as well. Dr. Will is definitely the Batman to Boogie's Robin, but Mike Boogie was no slouch and proved that in season seven. Many say that Boogie really is nothing without Will, but in my opinion, there's a very small chance that Will is able to do nearly as well as he did in All-Stars without Boogie. Now, Boogie did return for one more season of Big Brother, as he came in as a coach for Big Brother 14, but 
he didn't see too much success. He played hard in the beginning and even formed a Chilltown 2.0 alliance with his player Frank, but after he successfully managed to get Janelle out, himself and Frank were just too big of a threat to ignore, and once they were both nominated and Frank had won the veto, there really wasn't much Boogie could do before he was evicted as the last pre juror of the season. I learned from one of the best, and that is why you're sitting with me right now. I'm really sorry. As it stands today, Chilltown is not on the best of terms. They were offered to do the Amazing Race together a few years back, but Will declined. Boogie didn't take too well to that, and long story short, he threatened Will's kids, and it was this whole big ordeal, and now Boogie has a restraining order filed against him. But this video isn't about that, it's about their time playing the game. Overall, the Chilltown duo has five Big Brother appearances. Of these five showings, they have two impressive first place finishes and an extremely dominant fourth place appearance to go, but they also have an eighth place and a tenth place finish courtesy of Boogie. Even with those finishes, it's impossible to sit here and say that Chilltown going two for two in Big Brother 2 and All-Stars is not an unbelievable feat. Winning Big Brother is hard enough as it is, so to have them do it twice is incredible. However, the legacy of Chilltown is pretty much only from All-Stars, and the main reasons that Chilltown is viewed as highly as it is is because A, they're the first alliance in Big Brother history, B, Dr. Will is in it, C, Chilltown is like a Big Brother brand, and their diary room segments and entertainment that they bring gave them a legacy, and D, Dr. Will's impressive solo run on Big Brother 2 after Boogie was evicted gave the Chilltown name that little extra stat pad. None of this is to say that Chilltown is a bad duo. They still have two wins under their belt, and one of the players is one of the greatest to ever do it, but when you look at their five total appearances, only three of them are good. Going 60% ain't so bad in terms of Big Brother, but I feel that the brand of Chilltown as a dominant duo is vastly inflated due to their Big Brother 7 performance. With all that said, I still think they're the most iconic duo in the show's history and one of the greatest. Both Will and Mike are Big Brother winners, they're both great characters to varying degrees, and Chilltown does have that it factor to it. But do they stack up as the greatest duo of all time in terms of gameplay? Well, you'll have to tune in next week to find out when we talk about the other dominant duo, the Hitmen. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. For those of you that don't know, I am going full-time on YouTube for the summer while Big Brother is on, and that means that I am doing two videos a week as opposed to one. If you want to help support me, you can always join as a YouTube member, which is basically like Patreon, but just on YouTube. I release videos early to YouTube members, and I also put out an exclusive laid-back video every other week, so if you're interested, definitely check it out. If you're looking to support me without spending any money, subscribing is free and always appreciated immensely. While we're on the topic, I'd love to say thank you to those who are already YouTube members. Your help is immeasurably appreciated, and I truly thank you all. And as always, here's a clip for you on your way out. Bring. Hello? Will? Yeah. Hey, it's Boogie. Hey. Bring, bring. Hello. Bring. Hello? Will. Yo. Yo, it's Boogie. Hey. Check this out. Let me hear. Dude, I'm... get this. You're not going to believe it. Check this. Okay. okay. So I'm at the nomination ceremony. Uh, Big Brother All-Stars. I go in front of the entire house guest group and I say, I hate you all. So I go to the veto ceremony. Right. I veto myself off the block, obviously. Naturally. So I think they're about to call your name. They are. <laughs> and Kaser put both our keys in the box. No one voted even against me. Everyone voted against Jace. <laughs> Janelle puts Diane up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, Boogie, it's Will. What's up, man? How you doing? Dude, are you in the final two? <laughs>